Okay, so I wanted to mention one small little thing about retargeting. The engine currently has a massive bug regarding control rig nodes inside animation blueprints. So the thing is, if I go to the animation blueprint that I have, uh, blueprints and MBP right here, and I look for control rig, will give me all the control rigs that exist in here I, I already disconnected them but they will be connected for you so you have to disconnect them so it will be like this and you just have to disconnect it if you don't if you try to retarget and you crash it's because of this it's because of the control rig nodes and what I think is even more annoying is the fact that even after I retarget, so I'm going to take this animation blueprint that I disconnected all the control rigs from it, and I'm going to retarget it. This takes so long. I don't know what's wrong with my PC today. So I'm going to retarget this to. I have MetaHuman already here. So I'm going to retarget it. It's going to work just fine. As long as control rig is not there. Now, if I want to add the control rigs back, so f first it's going to tell you, hey, leg IK. If you don't have leg IK, no matter what your skeleton is, if you don't have leg IK, here's what you need to do go to your skeleton, so skeleton, like this. For my system, here are the virtual bones that you're going to need. I'm going to delete them from here so I can redo them. So you're going to need create virtual bone from the root to the root and you're going to name it layering with with L being big it has to be like this and then from the root to foot add virtual bone foot right keep it just like it is and another one to the foot left foot left just like that these these will will now be your IK bones so go here and replace these with the IK the IK with those so VB foot right and this is virtual bone foot left like this <coughs> now you'll have no more errors this is all good now if you try to connect these and compile you crash it's a big issue so you're gonna go control rig get it and then put so you go in here and see what this is this is idle transition idle transition control rig and then hook it up and now you will not crash but it will tell you hey there is different parents in the control rig in here there is a, a, a problem with this so what you need to do, because control rig depends on the skeleton and this skeleton is extremely different. Well, the control rig is supposed to not depend on the skeleton and should just use the names. But be, when the hierarchy changes, it just tells you, hey, the hierarchy really, uh, the hierarchy really changed. So what you need to do is go to, if you have a different, completely different skeleton, find the transition one, duplicate it, uh, duplicate, right, N name it whatever you want, your transition, here I named it MH for MetaHuman, and then go inside the hierarchy and refresh with the skeleton, with the mesh of whatever you want, like for me I have MetaHuman, so I'm gonna go to MetaHuman's Yuri, his blueprint, this is the fastest way I know to get to the body. So get to the body. This is the body's mesh. Go here. Refresh. Pick the body's mesh. And it will refresh for you. You need to do this for all three control rigs. I have three control rigs. You have to do it for all three of them. As you can see, I have MetaHuman MH MH. I'm going to rename this to MH to keep the same. So like this,
now just go and put the, that the duplicate that you refreshed so MH for me I'm gonna hook it up and get this stuff so he's changing I need this and this I need max step height and the two switches I don't even need to show the alpha so and then hook it up here now if you do this you will not crash and it will work just fine now the issue is that you'll have to do this with every control rig and there are three of them so all of these start loop pre pivot post pivot these are the same ones which is the orientation warping control rig so again control rig and after you refreshed one with orientation warping refreshed find it so where is it orientation warping mh i need the orientation angle i need the first step curve I need the use first step curve or not and rotating and ignore orientation like this these are the settings that I need I'm gonna put them here plug them in and plug this now I can copy and paste it next in the loop it's the same thing control rig orientation warping MH where is it and I need the angle don't need the alpha next is pre pivot you can just go and copy this and just I have orientation angle I need that ignore like so. post pivot needs orientation angle needs entry needs first step use first step and ignore so this is ignore use first step curve entry orientation and angle okay last one is the landing one it's a, it's a different is the third and last control rig so I have jump landing, jump landing, MH. I need all three inputs like this. You cannot even like. You cannot even you you cannot even use the old nodes. No way. You cannot. You can't take the like after you retarget and you have nodes that are disconnected. You can't just take them and just change the rig last a new one. It will still crash. So you need to create a completely new node. This sucks, but what can I do about this? And that's it. Like this, you have the in your entire animation blueprint retargeted, and uh, to to make sure that you get the right orientation warping and and everything like that. This is the one thing that you have to double check: is the orientation warping here. It has bone names. So the one that you have refreshed, 
the here looks weird because it's not it's, it's the skeleton is not for this mesh but the mesh did not refresh i'm not gonna bother with that but it's fine the the bones if you can see here we have bone head bone three i have changed these bone three and four and five in the meta human to spine four spine three and spine two they used to be spine one two three because when i go to retarget as you can see in the retarget manager spine one is put to spine two two to three and three to four this is the equivalent of the mannequin so knowing that this is the equivalent in the orientation warping i changed these bones to their equivalents and that's all i did and now all you need to do to get this up and working is retarget the actual animations in the data set and just use this animation blueprint this, this one in the yes, meta humans retargeted this one you can use it now i'm gonna rename it to meta human no, i'm gonna keep it like that i'm gonna create a child and rename it meta human and now you just gotta go to class defaults motion base overlay base and add a set of base just like i showed in the previous video how you set up the kobold animation set for example you just have to after you set up those animations retarget them and fill in a new data asset with the retargeted animations just put it here and this is how you use my system with any other skeleton you just need to know the equivalent of the of the spine bones that's all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one